opportunity to hear from you once again. We ask, O oh God, that your word will renew, that your word will strengthen, that your word will comfort, that your word will refine us, that we will be able to become divinely independent and quicken to the nature which you desire so that we will be able to receive from you. From today, may our faith be quickened in the name of Jesus. I pray that every heart shall be simple to receive your word, that at the end we shall be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We read from John chapter 20 from verse 24 to 29. And we read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 6 to 8. Because I think our reader stopped at verse 28. He did not read verse 29. I want to quickly run through it. Now Thomas called the twin. One of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see it in his hands, the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, the disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the door being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach out your finger here, and look at my hands. Reach your hand here, and put it inside my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus said to him, verse 29, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Second Corinthians 5, I will only read verse 7 in the NLT version. That is our text. Verse 7 says, For we live by believing and not by sin. King James will say, For we walk by faith and not by sight. The New Living Translation says, For we live by believing and not by sin. This afternoon, God is going to speak we walk by faith and not by sight. Or better put, we live by believing and not by seeing. Praise the Lord. Jesus had died and has resurrected. It was seen by the apostles, but Thomas was not there. And later, Thomas shows up and the disciple told Jesus, told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. He said, you must be out of your mind. Who have you seen? Someone has died and has been buried. So from the text, we see two ways of believing. Thomas' way of believing and Jesus' way of believing. What does it mean to believe? To believe something, that means that thing has to be true. And not only true, trustworthy, reliable, and constant, then you are now committed to believing it. That is the definition of believing and faith. So you see Thomas's way of believing being a very detailed, disciplined, consistent way of believing that someone will say is realistic and real. So let's look at Thomas's way of believing. I said there are two ways of believing there, two ways of faith, walking in faith. Thomas' way and Jesus' way. Number one, Thomas' way of believing. The first thing we see is sight. Thomas say, is proof of my trueness is that I will physically feel it. Can we go to verse 25? If you read from the Amplified, the B part, but he said, unless I see his hands, 
the marks that were made by the nails as i see the prints of the nail not that i just see any mark i see the prints of the nails and put my finger in the prints of the nail and i'm sure is the size of the nail what else i will also put my hand king james will say thrust my hand in his sight into his sight i will never believe it that's a very disciplined thorough man naturally so number one sight is proof of truth is physically seeing it number two is before i can experience it i have to feel it and touch it so not just seeing i must feel it and touch it when i have seen it physically feel it and touch it and be sure that i'm not being deceived i said in the morning service you know with technologies anything can happen i've heard of hologram before i can stand here and be speaking but it's an hologram it's not me i'll be moving the gesture but you will seeing a figure here so he said i cannot be deceived i have to be sure that it's not a ghost it's not a spirit so until i see it feel it and touch it then